trick or treat. Okay, the life of being on the road, when things happen, things really happen. Hold on, let me clean my lens off. Sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, Kate and I just left New Orleans. Uh, we had to go there back there for a wedding, and it was heading northbound uh, with a direction, but not really a destination. And we was gonna stop in Tuskegee, and then go possibly ride Blue Ridge Parkway before the weather start changing because we want to get some of the fall leaves, but when things go wrong, they go wrong. Let me show you guys if it'll pick it up on camera. Turn the key on. Navigation system blinks, but it doesn't come on. So <laughs> we're riding from New Orleans and, you know, we really don't plan much when we decided to go when we don't have to really be at a specific spot for a certain amount of time or shall I say a specific time. And we're riding down the, the highway, actually I-10 going eastbound, and we saw a sign say, Shrimp Festival, Crab Festival, Silver Flipper Casino. So we say, okay, let's stop there and go get us some shrimp for lunch. And we stop, but it doesn't start till 4 p.m. Now it's 12 o'clock. So we say, okay, forget it. We're just gonna head northbound and continue our trek and just stop when we need to stop for the night because we know where a couple of free campgrounds are in Alabama, so we was heading to those free campgrounds. Lo and behold, I started the bike up, ready to put it in my navigation system. DOA, dead. I have a 2015 Gold Wing, and a lot of people say they've been having problems with their navigation system. So if you have a solution to what's going on, please put it in the, the comment section below because I've read everything that the people say solutions for the navigation system. So I haven't started it yet, but I'll give you an update to where if any of the solutions work. Right now, we just said, okay, we have no choice. We're riding down the freeway. We saw signs that says hotel, so we stop at the Best Western. We're going to stay in a hotel for the night. Won't be no camping, obviously. So once we put it in, I'm going to go on and check everything and let you guys see what's going on. I got to get in the trunk, check the navigation system in the trunk, check a couple of fuses, make sure that they're still working and not blown, then take this off and check that also to make sure that's okay. Well, we got a room. What is that? We got to put that on our bikes? Yes, sir. Why? No, this place is that bad? We got to put armbands on too? No, that's for the pool. For the pool. It's still hot out here. The pool probably still open. So we're going to get our room. What number? Downstairs? Yes, downstairs. Uh-huh. Room number what? Five, two, one. Oh, I'm glad we're here because she's putting it right on my, my windshield. I won't be able to see. Look. <laughs> and then I got to go through this whole thing and, and find out what's going on with the navigation system. But I do have a backup plan. That's why we carry emergency funds or have emergency budget. So this pulling is. Pulling out them old maps and following the line. <laughs> yep, <laughs> backup plan. They pull the old maps and follow the line. Well, that's foolproof, I guess. But we already have. Uh, already checked and see could I find a Garmin uh, Zumo, I think it's XT navigation system, and we'll probably be using that for the rest of The thing I hate the most is this thing runs everything. I don't have no more radio, don't know how many miles we're going. KK has us, obviously. Don't even know how many miles I have on my bike. I know it's over 160,000 or something like that. I forgot. But hopefully I get it back on. We're going to get in our room. We already checked in, and I'll get working on my bike. Just means you have to start all over from one. Start all over from one. One is going to be a new bike. <laughs> yes, it will. Okay, what do you think I should get, y'all? I'm going to give you a choice of the, the bikes I was looking at. Which game? I need you guys to choose for me. Uh, Honda Goldwing 
2023 or a Honda Gold Wing 2022 or a Honda Gold Wing 2021, <laughs> 2019 or 18. That's all the choices I have. Now, as far as other brands, I do like other brands. So the other brand I would get would be a Honda Gold Wing 2024. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> so she thinks she's going to ride. Look, watch this. <laughs> You know, we wear the, the thing so the sun won't burn out. Baby. Cake thinks she's going to ride. Why is she just done? Okay. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> Put a helmet on it and they cover her face. I'm going to try all these things that suggested online. Got to check my navigation system. Pull a couple of things out of it. As you look at the trunk, I already got it cleaned out. And the navigation system is here. I don't know the if the camera gonna pick it up. Just gotta take this piece off, remove two cards, one the SD card, and the other one at the bottom is the navigation system itself. And let it stay out for a while. Nobody can see how long it need to stay out. Yeah, I've been looking for this. But plug it back in, turn the bike on, see what happens. The second thing, I was told to disconnect the battery the negative terminal and let that stay out for a while. Nobody can say how long. Put it back on, turn it on, see if it fires up. If that don't fire up, then the last thing would be is to take this panel off. This whole panel comes off and then check the connections behind the panel to make sure everything's together. What well, a second to the last thing. The last thing to check the fuses. You would think somebody said to check the fuses first. Check the fuse and make sure the fuse aren't blown. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I have no stand available right now to show what I'm doing. Okay, we're moving the SD card. There it is. Wow, it looks pretty dirty. So it look like, hopefully that's the problem. Replace that. And get the bike to start up. See if that's the solution. Well, not to start up, just turn it on and see if it come on. Here we go. Turn it on. And nothing so far. So the next step. Wait a minute. That looks strange. Try that again. See, it lights up, it's just a blank screen. Nothing's going on. Turn it off now, I got a bunch of lines. Never heard of that before. So, next step. Remove this one. Gotta take this out the way. Press that. And remove this right here. It's actually the navigation system. And mine is pretty old. I never upgraded because Honda wants you to pay to upgrade the navigation system, unlike other people where you just plug it in and it'll upgrade online. So I'll leave this out a while and then plug it back in and see what happens. Okay, it's been out a minute. Put it back in and see where we go from here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. And that's back in now. One more try before I disconnect the battery terminal and then check all these other things. On. And not a thing. Okay. Next step. Disconnect the battery terminal. Let it stay out. Probably let that stay out for about five minutes. And I'm going to have to reset everything. And go from there. Exposing my battery, positive, negative. I have to take the negative off and leave it off for one. Well, I didn't say how long. I'm going to leave it off for probably about 10 minutes. I don't know. But screwdriver or 10 millimeter socket. Almost everything on the gold wing is 10 millimeters. Uh, most of the things are 10 millimeters. Then is my fuse box. I'll be checking that next if this doesn't work. So here I go. Okay, I like using the ratchet. But you know, you got to be careful because you have this metal here, and if this touch that, a bunch of sparks gonna fly out. 
gotta make sure I got it the right way. When it's done, I can uh, just use my hand and take it out the rest of the way. Now I have to let that sit off. <clears throat> let that sit off for a couple of minutes. And then I'm gonna plug it back up and see what happens. Hopefully this does the trick. And tomorrow morning we'll be back on the road to destination unknown. <laughs> Some workers over there having a good time. Okay, I checked everything. Checked the battery, checked the fuses. You saw I checked the trunk, pull the panel off. Nothing good, nothing's working. So, guess I'll be buying a Garmin. Ah. If you have a solution to the problem, please put it in the description section. At least I can get that working. I really don't need it once I get the Garmin, but I would like to have it working so when I get my new bike. <laughs> yeah.